Hi guys, it's Danica Christine and this video is a comparison between traveling Morocco and traveling Egypt. I've been to both countries. I spent about two weeks in Egypt back in 2010 and I was in Morocco for about three and a half weeks in 2018. Both countries are in Northern Africa, pretty close to Europe, great to travel in winter, so you might have trouble deciding where to go on your holiday. I'm here to make that decision a bit easier for you. If you're new to my channel, then please make sure to subscribe as I make new videos about traveling the world, living abroad, all that good stuff every single week. The first thing I want to talk about is the climate and the best time to go. Morocco is best to travel either in the springtime between March and May or in autumn between like October and November. Summers are really, really hot in Morocco, so I can't really recommend it. And winters do get quite cold. Like we left Morocco on our trip, I think on the 2nd of December, and it was really starting to cool down, especially in the north. In Egypt, the travel season is a lot longer and it stretches across the entire winter, basically. So you can start traveling in Egypt around October and then kind of all throughout winter until April because Egypt is a lot warmer. It also rains a lot less than in Morocco. So the winner in the climate category is Egypt. The second category we wanna look at when you're deciding where you wanna go for your holiday is how long do you want to go? I spent about three and a half weeks in Morocco and I found that a little bit too long. So about two and a half, three weeks would be just right if you wanna see everything in Morocco. I was in Egypt for about two weeks, which was just right. And that's kind of the amount of time I recommend for a holiday in Egypt. It's a little bit hard to determine a winner for this category, but I believe if you want to go on a bit of a longer holiday, then Morocco is the right place. But if you just want to go for a week or two, then Egypt is the place to go. Now let's talk about sites. Morocco is full of medinas. There is the blue city of Chef Chauen. There is Roman ruins. There are some palaces. And what is really interesting and my personal favorite site in all of Morocco is the movie sets near Wasasate in the Moroccan desert. I do have to say though that with the exception of the movie sets, the sites in Morocco were a bit more low-key and overall I have to admit that I was not that impressed. Like me and my friend kind of had the same feeling. We were like waiting for like this big wow moment when we saw like something we'd never seen before and that was just take our breath away and that just didn't really come. Like the only thing that kind of got us there was the movie sets. But in terms of like all the other sites, it was all nice. It was all good, but it was ne never like breathtaking or just like, you know, mind blowing. Egypt in contrast has the pyramids, the Sphinx, the um, temples of Luxor, there's the Abu Simbel temple, which by the way, is one of my personal seven wonders of the world. And I just feel like Egyptian sites are like so rich and so impressive. There is so much to see, so much to explore. This category, without a doubt, Egypt wins, hands down. The next category I wanna talk about is safety and the level of sexual harassment. Morocco is one of the safest Muslim countries to travel. And me and my friend kind of experienced some harassment while we were in Morocco, but it was not too bad. Egypt does have a little bit of a bad reputation in terms of safety, but I do have to say, I don't think it is as bad as some people believe it is. At the same time, I do have to say though, Egypt was the country where I experienced the worst sexual harassment in my entire life, and I've been to India. Egypt is probably the only country that I've been to so far that I would never travel alone as a woman just because of like the experience I had there. I was traveling Egypt with my then boyfriend and kind of like it was fine while he was with me but the minute he was gone you know just out to get something or buy something and I was just like in a shop or whatever or in a restaurant by myself the harassment would start. And it was really, um, it was just next level. It's something like I'd never experienced anywhere else. Like it's just started instantaneously the minute he was gone. I was asked a lot of inappropriate questions by Egyptian men and just, I got so much unwanted attention. And it was just overall like a bad experience in that regard. 
when you look at safety and the harassment factor, then Morocco is definitely the better place. The next category I want to look at is the cost of traveling. In 2018, I spent 35 euros per day in Morocco traveling as a backpacker on a budget. So we were staying in hostels, we were eating our meals in restaurants, we were taking local buses, sometimes taxis, but not too many. We, you know, went to lots of sites. So we spent about on average, I think 35, 36 euros per day. Egypt was cheaper. I spent 25 euros per day in Egypt, but that was back in 2010. So I don't think that that is accurate anymore. I had a bit of a look online and it seems like most backpackers now spend about 30 to 40 euros per day. So I think it's about the same as Morocco these days. Let's talk about beaches. Morocco has a long coastline, but surprisingly few good beaches. Because most of the Moroccan coast is right along the Atlantic, it is very, very windy. And I think it's generally better suited for kite surfing than lying on the beach or swimming. My friend and I were in Esariera in Morocco and we just wanted to walk along the beach and the wind was so bad, it was just blowing sand our way. Like we just, we just left off like two minutes because we had like sand in our eyes and everything. Like. It's just not a place where you can basically lie on the beach or go for a swim. And the sea is full of kite surfers there. So if that's what you're into, then Morocco is a good place for you. But if you just want to go um, for a beach holiday, I know there is Agadir, which is a place that my parents went to for a beach holiday. But other than that, there's not many beaches and it's not really the best country for a beach holiday. Egypt, on the other hand, has several well-known, quite nice beaches. I've been to the beach in Egypt myself. We even went snorkeling and it was quite a good experience. So if you wanna go on a beach holiday, Egypt is the way to go. Next category is natural beauty. Morocco has the stunning Atlas Mountains and the desert there is also quite beautiful. Whereas Egypt, I have to say it, has the best desert I've ever seen. It is huge, it stretches on for ages, it feels quite remote, especially if you go really far into the south. Overall, I have to say for natural beauty, Egypt is my favorite, but it's kind of a close call. The last category is side trips. Both countries can easily be combined with another country. You can do like a trip where you visit Morocco, Egypt, and then add on like a little side trip to one other country. Morocco, the obvious choice is Spain. Me and my friend went to Spain first for a week before we took the ferry to Morocco. You can easily spend anywhere from a few days to several weeks in Spain before you go to Morocco. And it is something that I can highly recommend because Spain is just fantastic. From Egypt, we took the ferry over to Jordan to go and see Petra. I think we spent about two or three days in total in Jordan I went to see Petra. But if you've got more time, like a week or so, then you can see Petra, you can see Wadi Rum, and you can see the capital Amman. And believe me, Jordan makes a fantastic side trip. The winner in this category, it's kind of a toss up because both Jordan and Spain make excellent side trips. Let's go for the final verdict. Both countries are great places to travel. And ideally, if you have the possibility, go to both. Go to one this year and the other next year. But if you are, you know, in Europe or Northern Africa, like on a once a lifetime kind of trip, here is why I would choose Egypt. First and foremost, the sites you get to see in Egypt are one of a kind and unique in this world. What you see in Morocco, you can probably find elsewhere as well. But what you see in Egypt, like the pyramids, the temple of Luxor, Abu Simbel, all these great places, they are unique to Egypt. You can't get that anywhere else. So that is why I think the sites in Egypt are just superior. Like I said, Egypt also has the best desert that I've ever seen. You can do a fantastic side trip to Jordan. There are great beaches if you want to tag on a little beach holiday. And overall, the travel season is just longer, giving you a longer stretch of time where you can go and see Egypt. Morocco is a great place to travel to. I really like the blue city of Chefchaouen. I love the movie theaters near Wasasate. I love the Atlas Mountains. But in my personal opinion, Morocco is just not as unique as Egypt. Let me know in the comments if you've traveled either or both of those countries. Let me know what your opinion is. Don't forget to give this video a like 
and subscribe and then I'll see you in my next video.